I'll tell you why I am hysterical. What? If Ben dies, I won't be able to take it. So you're it. going to be there every single second for the rest of his yes, life? Yes, if I can, yes. You are not going to go to sleep. We are going to talk about we this. We have talked about it. Now we have a not written no. I can't. Well, you're going to have to, because this is ruining our marriage. I don't think so. Look, Mary, we have a problem. If we don't solve this problem, I don't know what we're going to well, do. Well, why did you leave, then? I've thought about it. You've thought about what, moving out of the house? Moving out of the marriage. You'd leave me? I don't want to. Mary, I love you. But ever since Simon died, I feel like you hate me, and I can't live with someone who hates me. Hate it's like you blame me for this. I loved Simon as much as you I did. Oh, no. I feel like you think there was something I could have done to keep him alive. If I had taken under my mother's that night, none of this would have happened. I know, I know. And the reason we, that we didn't go to your mother's was because I didn't want to. If we'd been in the same room with them, we would have noticed what Mary, was Mary, I wish something different had happened that night. I put the babies to bed. And I went into the next room and I watched television. I did the same thing that we'd done every night. It just happened! It's not my fault. I know. I know. I know I'm being unreasonable. I know what I just... I want to punish someone, I just want to blame someone because it's so fucking unfair! <laughs> we have Ben. We have each other. Simon will always be a part of our lives, and I'll never forget him. But we're still very lucky people, and we've got a lot to be thankful for. Don't leave me.